Let me talk to you about a game that is still being updated very frequently right now in 2023 but unfortunately has been doomed since the beginning. An ambitious game that has been created by an ambitious team that just didn't know how to make everything works in the end. I know the developers will be watching this, this is not a video that is against you guys, on the contrary I really want this game to shine still in 2023 but it just never seemed to kick off and that's unfortunate because I could see a big future with this project. Let's start from the beginning. The wolf laying in its den is never as hungry as the wolf fighting to survive. This is Valhall. Valhall is an all-out Viking war fighting game and was first announced in March 2018 as a battle royale game. The team first wanted to capitalize on the battle royale genre which exploded at that time with a medieval slash Viking experience. The reveal and its other devlog videos went super popular and the studio received a lot of support, which was very surprising to them. Now they didn't want to create just a simple battle royale game, but a game with multiple game modes including Siege War, Deadmatch and so on. The siege game mode they revealed later on onto their YouTube channel looks so promising and full of great ideas and gameplay elements. The animations look great, the fighting as well and everything seemed to be going well. The team's motivation was here and they were very hard at work creating the dream game that they've always wanted. For this they needed an Indiegogo page which is a little bit like Kickstarter where you can donate to the team and found the game development. Only that Indiegogo allow you to donate without a time limit. In total, they received a pretty good amount, which is $26,000. Unfortunately, the money was never enough. The people who supported and donated thought it would be enough, but the developers never actually delivered on their promises or on the game. From the beginning up until right now in 2023, I don't think Valhalla is the game it was supposed to be. Fans who donated were pretty angry at the state of the game, it even deserved some videos saying it was a scam or something like it. But Valhalla is not a scam, the developers simply did not anticipate or expect how much money a game needed to be an actual game. I know it sounds weird but they just completely overhyped their own game and in the end could not deliver what they wanted because of lack of money and maybe even a lack of knowledge in development too. I don't want to sound harsh but what they promised never actually released in its entirety. I mean Valhall has been in pre-beta testing as the title says on Steam since October of 2020 and hasn't moved since then. There is still no one playing right now but but what I can respect is they are still pushing frequent updates. Even though no one is playing, they are still motivated to work on it as hard as they can. And even we can see many people supporting them in the comments and such. It's just a game that has a lot of promise and it's siege mode, which is like chivalry medieval warfare. So yeah, people are still supporting them in the comments and such. They're not playing because the game has nothing to offer right now, but they're still supporting. We can also see the devs still want Valhalla to be really successful and they're adding tons of new features over time and just recently switched to Unreal Engine 5 which is one of their biggest achievement recently. I feel like these guys know what we want in a game. Cool features like the Mjolnir fight to the death, awesome battles, a survival mode and such. They just don't really know how to properly release it. I'm not sure if this game has a future but I would love to see it shine in 2023. If you'd like me to update you on this game like the video right now and subscribe to stay tuned.